In the previous lesson, we saw Galileo's brilliance to realize that projectile motion is really given by quadratics formulas, these things at squared plus bt plus c. If you actually have an object moving in the air at constant velocity to the right, the change of height makes a beautiful u-shaped curve. But of course, u-shaped curves appear in all sorts of places in nature, and Galileo noticed that if a hanging chain, maybe it's like a chain around a museum's barrier thing, or maybe it's like power lines or something, also seems to make a beautiful u-shaped curve. So the natural question is to ask, is this indeed quadratic? And Galileo thought it could be, and uh, we actually have the tools to really figure this out right now. Actually go and hang up a chain against a wall, maybe against a white wall, because maybe what you want to do is maybe draw I know, an axis, maybe get it with a ruler, not, not hand uh, eyeball it with like me. And what you can do is you can mark you know, zero inches, one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inch, and so forth. And we can actually collect some data. With a ruler, we can measure the height at the zero inch mark, at the one inch mark, at the two inch mark, at the three inch mark. Ooh, I've gone off the screen. Now I can do the negative one inch mark, or maybe put the zero over here. And we'll get different values. And if this is indeed a quadratic curve, we can look at that data and take the first differences and the second differences. And what should we see? Well, off we go. So my challenge to you is to do this very precisely. There's going to be a lot of human error in it, so you've got to make sure you get the degree you want. And I'm going to ask you, please find me a quadratic formula that fits the chain that you have. Now do this before you read the lesson all the way through, because there are some twists and turns in the story. If you're getting data you don't like, it could be very clear it's because of just a human error. So you might want to go back and redo your measurements and be very clear as best you can to get the measurements just right. But the challenge is, find a quadratic formula for a hanging chain. Go for it. It's actually really worth doing it. You have the tools to find that formula. See what happens. Thanks.